sometimes you have to look at things in terms of is this your last message if you had one last message to send to a certain group of people what would it be and i i know that's a bit strange but if you were about to die and you're on some island and, and you, you were you were in your deepest hardest your, your deepest heart then you wanted to say a message to the people that you loved about what you thought about them and usually you don't get the chance to do so because you're dead or because you're in some situation where you've realized that you're about to die and you want to give that last message to those people that mean the most to you. And that's what I think this is. I've come to the point in my life of studying and designing and working towards one goal. And the goal was to come up with some sort of idea or, or thinking system. that would assist a human being to see how all the parts are connected at the get-go. How do all of the pieces of the puzzle come together into one whole system? And that's something I've been working on for quite a while. And I found that over the years, this was a, a struggle or a focus that not many people were interested in and as I developed these mind maps I lost touch with most people and it created a kind of uh, emotional depression that distanced me from most of the species in a sense because I could not believe, why are we still here when we could be here? This ideal was developing in my mind. But I could still just see the normal mundane existence of life. And so there's a big divide between where you are and where you want to be. There's a big divide between the great goals you want to do with your life <clears throat> and where you are right now. And so yesterday, I tagged 20 people in the very secret plan. And these are individuals that I have spent time with, that I have a great love for and a great belief in, that each of them is holding a piece of the puzzle. Because you can have these abstract maps, but it's very different from the territory. And you can have a little circle on a map, but it actually represents a person. It, it represents an individual. And it's like a football coach or a basketball coach <clears throat> who's diagramming these plays on a, on a clipboard saying, you go here, you go here. And there's a, there's a play pattern that you know and you're saying to the team, okay, this is the time for this pattern. And in life, we don't quite have that. We have business systems, but we don't quite have a coach player mentality in regards to how to deal with what we're dealing with in, in the world right now. And that's what I've been working on. And I have this very bad habit of taking the future, bringing it into the present moment and thinking that it is, that it, it exists. <laughs> and then tagging people and putting it forward and thinking that it's real. And that's what wizards do. They take the future into the present and they present it to the people as an idea. And then it's up to the people to go, well, do I really want to participate in this adventure? Do I really want to participate in what this wizard is saying? Because the wizard is going, we need to do this. 
you guys are the team, go Julep. That's what Gandalf did with Bilbo and the uh, dwarves. He brought Bilbo into an adventure to go kill the dragon. And Bilbo didn't really want to leave Hobbiton and Bilbo didn't really want to, you know, go on this long journey. And we're all like that. We're all in our Hobbiton. We're all in our own little world. And at some point we have to go out and kill Smog if we're really going to do something with our life, at least once. And so I've had this container called the Very Secret Plan, which is an idea of bringing people together and having a web TV show that shows the lives of these people independently. But these 20 people come together into a super team and a superhero team to save the world. And I'm the storyteller, I'm the wizard. And so I spent all these years designing systems to figure out how to re-establish a foundation of goodness on this planet. And the way to do so is to connect the different time system into what we're currently using. And the Mayans had a calendar that was built into stone. And that civilization left this worldview that now uh, a person, Jose Arguez, brought to the Western civilization's attention, perhaps in the way that the Mayan elders wanted, but reached through books, at least to me, to show a different mathematical system of 1320 which is different from our 6024 mathematical system to show that if you change the math in your mind and in how you organize what you do, you change the very relationship to the universe. And so the minds left behind these 20 energetic sigils that each of us are one of them. And if you bring these energetic sigils together, 20 of them. My theory or a theory is that the superhero DNA power that is within each of us are going to be activated. And to do so, you have to bring 20 people together in a plan to actually do something. So yesterday, I tagged 20 people in a Facebook, in Facebook and said, do you want to participate? And I've done this over and over and over again in different ways and usually ways which never work and usually ways which I didn't set it up right. I just, on the, on the thrill of the moment, came up with an idea and went, wow, let's do this. And it never works out. And this happened again yesterday. And I realized <clears throat> that I, I never explain it to the people. I never tell the people what I'm going to do and, and send them an invitation that actually explains what it is they're getting into. So I think if uh, Bilbo knew what he was getting into, he, might, he would never have gone up the mountain and uh, tried to kill Smog the dragon. And I feel a bit like that because who knows what we're going to go forward into, but I, I feel we're at a point in our species evolution that we need something different. We need some breakthrough in terms of how we organize as human beings and how we come together as human beings. And this video is me attempting to explain to those 20 people yesterday why I'm doing what I'm doing. And It's not easy to bring something new into the world. It's quite challenging because there's so many structures that are still in place, that are always in place. And the, the hero has to leave those structures, go into new territory, and then find the treasure, and then come back 
with that treasure to the people they love to help them. And a lot of the times the, the, the people don't even know who this hero is anymore because they've transformed, because they've changed, because they've become something they weren't within that structure they grew up in. And so right now, the 20 people that I have invited are, I believe, still in this structure and they're still kind of not really believing that the wizard really knows what he's doing. And so as a wizard, you have to kind of prompt or nudge or say, well, this is happening and this is what's going on. Are you sure you don't want to participate? If you had right now a chance to dive into a door with 19 others and go, this is your chance to save the world. You have to leave everything behind. You have to transform who you think you are. Will you do it? That is my question to the 20 people that I tagged yesterday. This is Captain Sweep. This is on. Are you willing to jump in with me?